mathematical model of climate can simulate the distribution of climate, such as temperature and rainfall, on the electronic computer quite well, based upon law of physics, actually. And what we can do is to use that model as virtual laboratory of climate. And so that to use that model, we can first reproduce uh, uh, how the climate changes as you change concentration of greenhouse gas, such as carbon dioxide. And by changing, uh, uh, by analyzing the results of this numerical experiment, we can understand how and why uh, climate changes uh, uh, in the actual atmosphere. And then we can compare it with observation and so forth. Yeah, I think that based upon what we have seen during the last several decades, how climate has changed, how model has reproduced it, uh, we are quite certain that model can reproduce the climate change uh, not only in the immediate past but also future in future. Um, I think it is very difficult to say at which point it's become dangerous and at which point it is not going to be dangerous. And um, uh, the, uh, so that um, actually what we can say is uh, beyond the two degrees centigrade change, actually the climate change become going to become more harmful. Uh, but what we can do, what we, what it is, is the smaller the climate change is better, so that it's not suddenly climate become dangerous at this point and uh, it's not dangerous below this point. It's hard to tell but what we should do is the smaller the climate change is better uh, uh, the better so that uh, we have to try to uh, very hard to minimize the climate change and uh, 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 but what we have to do is to set a goal for our immediate uh, uh, action and that's why I think the Paris conference put up the, our immediate goal for keeping it less than two degrees centigrade. But in my opinion, we have to make uh, uh, the, once you get beyond the two degrees centigrade, the smaller the climate change, it's better. So that we should do our best to minimize it. And the Paris Agreement is in a sense to try to uh, set the goal but that doesn't necessarily mean that if it is 
it is bigger than two degrees, and suddenly it's an end of the world, and if it's less than two degrees, uh, it would be fine. I don't think we can do. We know that much, I don't think, in my opinion. We should do our best to minimize the climate change. <laughs>